So, trout fishing, but I have to change the lure after every fish I catch. That's the theme of today's video. I'm gonna head up the river, have the waders on. Um, we got some heavy rain this week, uh, so fingers crossed a few better trout went up the river. Um, I don't mind what size of the fish we are. We're, go we're gonna catch usually smaller fish on the river, but look, it's, it's all a bit of crack anyway. It's all catch and release. Um, it's actually funny, I just met the landowner as I was coming down through the field and uh, I just made, made sure it was okay for me to be on his land. He was just laughing about it, he said it's the finest. Once you're polite with everyone, um, usually you can work away. So yeah, have the waders on, gonna head up the river, I'm casting upstream, work my way upstream. And uh, yeah, take you along for the adventure. I'm gonna change the lure after every trout I catch and uh, see how many we can get on. So let's go. Right, so let's have the hands free now. Same as always, ultralight spinning rod. 1 to 5 gram casting weight, size 1000 reel, super super light, uh, 10 pound braid. The lure I'm going to start off with is a Rapala 3 centimeter countdown lure. These are really good on the river. Um, so we'll get, try to get the first fish out of the way with this guy. Really good lure, looks quite small there but it's perfect size for these trout. I'm going to work my way up and uh, get stuck in. Now let's have a cast back here. see if there's any fish in the hole. There's one straight away. Oh, it's a nice trout. Literally first cast. We get him into the net. Yes, really good start. That's really good. I'm gonna wet the hand. Have a quick look at this guy before I get him unhooked. Look at that for a fish. Look at the tail, pure wild. Golden coloured trout. It's a nice size, we're getting with hooks. Now so there he is. Look at that beauty. Gorgeous wild fish. Getting back into the water. See you later, buddy. Wow. Stunning fish. That's really good. So let's change the lure. Now so that guy caught his first fish on literally the very first cast. So as always, the plan of this video is I'm gonna change the lure after every single fish and see how many lures we can get through. Just to show lads that a lot of the time the lure doesn't matter. It's all about the presentation and targeting individual fish. You can usually trick them into hitting a lure. So that guy done his job. We're gonna get into the bag. I have two or three small lure boxes with me. Usually use these boxes, double-sided. They're uh, very handy, very handy to use. So. I'm gonna put this guy back in. He's done his job. I'll put him there to the side. That was the muddler color in the Rapala. So I think I'm gonna to change to literally the polar opposite, a bright color. That's the perch lure or perch color in the three centimeter Rapala. And as you can see, they're completely different colors. Just to see if the trout are fussy or not. I'm sure they'll work. Put that back into the bag. And I uh, will get this guy clipped on. Once I can find the, the leader, <laughs> there somewhere. I'm using the Spro snaps, small little Spro snap. That's it there, as you can see the size of it. Uh, three millimeter size, super, super small and really strong. When you're changing loads of lures like this, you need to use a small snap, otherwise you're tying loads of knots all day long. And that's no good. I'm just gonna get this clipped on one second. Okay, so I had to have a closer look. That's all done now. 3 centimeter Rapala countdown in perch colour. Let's put the bag back on the back. Pick up the rod and on to the next fish. Good stuff. We haven't even started yet. Let's keep going. Yeah, there's a fish. Jumping all over the place, pretty cool. Oh, he shook the hook. Ah, he was close enough to us. You can see that that lure works anyway. I didn't have to travel far to get a hit on it, so I'm gonna change it. And uh, yeah, we'll get it changed onto a different lure because clearly it works. Go on to the next one. Okay, we're gonna change the lure, like we said. So the one I've selected next is a Sheck Skipper Wobbler. Handmade wobbler from Poland. As you can see there, it's painted in the brown trout color. Five centimeter size, uh, sink inversion. 
So yeah, we'll get this guy clipped on. One second, I'll do this off camera. Also, there's him clipped on. Sometimes with them small ones, it can take me a few seconds to get the clip on. That's him there, five centimeter lower. Really nice action in the water. See, you can see it there. He works like that and he swims himself. Very similar to a small little rapala. Small lip on him, so he'll twitch bait. So let's go catch a fish on it. The third lure. Let's give it a straight retrieve. Usually that'll do the trick. Not that time. It's a straight run there, usually holds a fish. There we go, straight away. It's a nice one. I have the drag set loose guys just because they're small trout and I don't want to pull the heads off them. So if you're hearing the drag loose, that's why. There's a reason for everything. Wet the hand. Oh look at that. Oh wow. He is savage. Oh, hooks in the hand. Yeah, well done. <laughs> oh, lively fish. We're gonna get him unhooked one second. Oh, there's the lure gone. Full of life. Beautiful trout. On the Sheck Wobbler. See you later, dude. Oh, good stuff, bye. See you later. So that's three lures done. Having good fun. I've literally travelled, I'd say, I'd say 30 metres from um, where I started. So, keep it interesting anyway. Let's change the lure. Maybe we'll go for a different colour on this lure. And uh, keep changing them and see how we get on. Right, I'm holding my lure box, my rods between my legs, backpack on my side. Multitasking lads, who said men can't multitask? So we're taking off this lure, he's done his job, the Sheck Wobbler. I'll put links for all the lures lads, uh, there's an affiliate link at Wild Hunter in the description of the video. All these lures you can find on the in the link, just click into the link and you'll be able to find everything. So we'll go for a silver one next because we just used a brown trout colour. This is imitating more of a roach, even though there's no roach in this river. Anything with a flashy pattern will catch these fish. So yeah, we're gonna keep mixing them up. This is lure number four. Put the box back in the bag. This is probably gonna be a long enough video. Depending on how many fish we catch. So. Sorry now lads, I'm in the middle of doing a bit of everything here. Let's get the clip and get the silver shake, yellow belly, silver side, black top, onto the clip. Now, that's him on the clip, let's close it. There we go, job done. Tiny little clip, you won't even see it. So, shake wobbler. Let's see if we can catch our fish number four on our fort lure. Beautiful lure. Brilliant stuff. Let's keep going. I'll just work my way up here. River's after getting really overgrown. Ugh. Creeping my way along. The problem with this little lure is it's sinking and I'm currently fishing in about a foot of water. So this lure is going to be tricky to catch on this little next hundred meters. But if we catch one, I'll be buzzing. And the next few lures I'm going to put on will be slower sinking lures. But uh, this, this guy will work, you just have to find the right fish. Oh, there's a nice trout. He slapped it. Oh, he came off. <laughs> he absolutely smashed off it. Well, look, that goes to show that that lure is working. I'm trying to show you as many lures as I can in this video, lads. So that's two fish for the shecks. I'm going to change lure now. Gonna, I'm going to maximize the time we have with the video and the stretch I'm on. And I have a lot of lures to get through. So it's nice to see them all catch a fish. Right, for the next lure, we're going to... What will we do? We will put on a spinner. That's what we'll do for the next lure. We'll go for a size one nips. I have a couple of them there. We'll go for, I don't think it matters, blue or silver. They both do the same thing. More of a reaction striker getting off a spinner than a, than a trout looking for a particular thing. But um, no, no, we'll go for a silver one. We'll go for a blue and a silver. There's two of them there. Put one into the pocket. And we'll change after each fish and see if we can get two trout on spinners and keep mixing it up. That's how we we'll do. Because I know a lot of lads are wondering what's the best colour spinner and stuff like that, but my honest opinion, it really doesn't matter. 
these two caught just as many fish as each other silver and the blue color of the dots really doesn't matter Chow's not going to see the color of them dots so usually in a flood a golden spinner works better we're coming down from the flood now and the spinner will just work a silver one will work nearly any time so yeah we'll um we'll put one of them here we'll tie on the we'll put on the silver one first that's what we'll do now let's grab our clip get this guy on here we go so this is a size one silver uh meps comet caught me so many fish literally thousands of trout since i've been using meps my whole life unreal spinners uh, to be honest the meps is the only one that i'd use if i was picking a spinner they just spin so much better than any other spinner um other spinners kind of slow down and stuff because line twist these are just the best by far by a country mile so yeah silver meps next uh the fifth off it. come on bite it bite it come on no There's a fish. Tiny little trout on the silver maps. We're gonna wet the hands. Come on, buddy. Little golden trout. Look at him. Beautiful fish. That lure straight out of him. There he is. Look at that for a golden belly. So we'll get him on his way. See you, dude. Brilliant. So that was the MEPS, we didn't have to go far to get the fish on the spinners um, they're actually unbelievable to be fair for a trout on a, on a shallow stream, a little spinner we'll catch a fish all day long so we're going to the golden one next this is the same lure, just with a different colour let's see if we can get fish number 6 to hit the lure hopefully this video, this video will show a lot of people that all the lures will work if you just fish them correctly you know I love changing lures and finding different ways of fishing different lures. And I know a lot of lads like to see lures working before they buy them and stuff like that. So I like testing out the the new gear. So let's see. If we can catch a fish on the different color spinner, size one MEPS, gold with blue dots, uh, MEPS Comet. There's a fish, there's small trout on the maps, same as the last fish, wet the hand, there's only a small guy, very small trout, <laughs> different colours than the last one though, more silvery, very small fish, just goes to show how effective the maps are, had two fish straight away, that lure out of his mouth, oh there he goes, so yeah there's another fish on the maps, so let's get on to our seventh lure, Get this guy off and get the box open and see what we'll try next. Right, this is the little box that I usually keep my spinners in. So I'll put these two back in together. We'll try different size uh, spinners later on in the video. But um, next on, I'm going to go for my one of my favourites this year, the Salmon Minnow. Uh, floating 5cm lure in minnow colour. Savage lure, really good. Put the box back in. Close up the bag. So yeah, there's the next lure, we'll get them clipped on. Ready to go, off, continuing off our, our fishing adventure. This is the seventh lure, I'm gonna try to keep count. It's very hard to do. Really nice setup. You'll find the whole setup lads in Wild Hunter and the link is in the description. And just click into the link and search the tackle that I said. And you'll find them pretty handy if you're looking for stuff like that. If you're not, it doesn't bother me at all. But I'm. Um, yeah, we'll keep working our way up. So the river here, as you can see there, it's up to my shins. There's a few smaller holes on the way up. A lot of shallow rapids, so that's where we'll find our fish. Oh, try a long cast. Oh, there's a fish. Yeah, we got one. Oh, 
second. If we didn't get a good look at him, we'll stay using it. This fish. Yeah. One for the salmon minnow. It was after losing two before. Oh, he came off. Doesn't matter, he's only small fish. Just to show that the salmon minnow works. I'm actually glad he came off. He's only a small fish. Saves us having to touch him. So we'll change the lure. And uh, try a different one. That's lure number seven to see that it's catching the fish. Now the next lure is one of my favorite lures that I actually haven't used in ages. This lure is called a fish power tail. So this is what it looks like. Two swivels around that hook. I'll get a different one. That's the fish power tail, lads. You can see there. It looks like nothing. That's the size of it in my hand. It's absolutely tiny. It's got a, it looks like a little silver minnow. It's got a little kick and paddle, paddle tail. You can see that at all on the video. It vibrates like mad when you fish it. Looks like a little minnow to the trout. Super, super simple. We'll get it on the hook. On the lure, <laughs> on the rod, can't speak. So there he is. That is what you call a fish power tail. You've probably seen it on the channel before, haven't used it in ages. This is the smallest size they do. But yeah, we'll get it on the line and see if we can catch fish. Okay, we're on lure number eight. The fish power tail is on the lure at the minute. That's what it looks like. Little small silver guy. So um, I know I'm not touching the fish or whatever but these are all only small trout i'm just doing this video to show lads loads of different lures working i'm you know to be honest i'm not too fussed on what lure i have in the rod when i'm on the river if you can fish it right in the right areas usually you get a hit and it's nice to show people different lures and different brands actually working catching fish so that's the whole basic behind this video um, i'm not expecting any huge fish and um, this is a small little stream we get a few big trout every now and again but i don't really care so we're gonna continue on and uh, see what else you can catch. We're on number eight so far anyway. There's a fish straight away. On the fish power tail, literally the first cast. He is absolutely tiny, but it doesn't matter. It's just the shoulder lure working. There's our trout. There's our fish power tail. He's absolutely Tiny, probably the smallest fish in the session. There he is there, we're getting back in the water. See you dude. Thanks for stopping by. So there's the fish power tail, literally on the lower, on the line about 10 seconds for a cut of fish. That's the size of it. Tiny, right, we'll get it off and try a different lure. Now, there's the fish power tail. They come in a few different sizes, uh, or different colors. There's the minnow color, that was the silver brown trout color. And um, yeah, they all kind of work the exact same. So let's close up that box, have a look in the other one, see what we'll try next. There's one lure I'm actually looking for, I don't know where it is in here. So there's a lure now, I'm going to try this one next. Uh, a friend of mine, Simon Harkness, sent me this lure and I've caught so many fish on it. It's already got the little single hooks on it. Um, this lure is actually from AliExpress, I'm pretty sure it is anyway. That's it there. Single hooks are facing like that. Little tiny single hooks, I think they're size eights. So it's a little minnow, little small wobbler jerk bait, and it's caught me loads of fish already. So this next catch will be dedicated to Simon. I think it's number, we've had eight so far, this will probably be for number nine. So yeah, let's get him on the line, flip him on, and get fishing. Nice. That's the lure we've on at the minute, the little AliExpress lure, single hooks. Let's go catch a fish. Yeah, there's fish. Oh, it came off. I will try to get another one. There's fish. Oh, he threw the hooks. That's two fish we're after hooking with this lure. I might change it. 
just to keep changing its brain and also we're standing under the tree. So it's currently raining, if you can hear me lads, and um, it's the one time I don't have my rain jacket with me. So I'm taking a bit of shelter in under the trees just to avoid getting soaked. Um, yeah, the fishing's going well. The river's, uh, the level is dropping. It started off and it was a bit higher. It seems to be quite shallow at the minute, which is making it a bit trickier. Um, I've had two fish hit this lure with the single hooks since, since I've had it on, but they both came off. So I'm gonna try land one just before I change the lure, but um, it's had two fish so far. There's a tractor going by. But yeah, I'm gonna wait for that rain to stop a little bit and I'll continue on up the river and uh, see what else we can find. Yeah, there's a fish. Have to keep the tension on him. Nice throw. Ah, they came off. <laughs> right, that's three fish we've had on this on this lure. I know they've came off, but it's just to show that it works. I tried to keep the tension on that fella. You have to do that with the bar barbless hooks. But yeah, it's had three fish. I know we didn't touch them, but look, it, it works. So we'll change the lure now. So I'm just going through the box, lads. I was going to try this for pile off, but it's a five centimeter size. Um, I think it's a bit heavy for this little part of the stretch that I'm on right now. So I might leave him for a while. I'm going to put on this natural minnow pattern in the Sheck wobbler. Um, a lot of these lures are big for the lake. Probably a bit too big for this little stretch. So we're going to keep mixing it up. It's raining now, so I don't know how much longer I'll stay. But I think we've, we've a few fish hit. Or hooked. Sorry. Try to get this lure on the on the clip without sticking the hooks in my fingers. Oh, there he is. Natural lure. It's a bit of a slower sinking one than the last one, so it's a bit easier to fish on this little shallow stretch. I'm only in ankle deep water, as you can see there. So, let's get fishing. Yeah, there's a the trout. And the shack. Wet the hands. Only oh, small guy. Get back as quickly as possible. There he is. Smashed the little shack wobbler. Get him unhooked. There he is. See you there, dude. Brilliant. The natural mineral colour is always good in a trout lure. Doesn't look like much, but trust me, keep it natural when it comes to trout. We'll change the row now. Okay lads, so this stretch that I'm going to finish off fishing, um, it's all quite shallow, so I went back to the size one spinner just to see if we can land a few more fish. Before we have to go home, um, there's not much left on this stretch, and it's uh, it's only about, look, okay, there's my ankle there. It's super shallow, so the spinner suits it. So we're going to see what else we can catch with the spinner. There's a the fish, yeah. Nice trout. Straight away on the spinner. Just goes to show, use what works. When the conditions change, look at that. Wow. For you. Now guys, here he is. Good stuff. These spinners can be really effective when you're fishing the shallower parts of the rivers. I'd always put on a little spinner. It's a really fast way of fishing as well. You can you could pull out 20, 30 fish out of a small stretch in no time. So let's finish off this little session and uh, see what we can catch. Let's bring it back down. Oh, there's a hit, I missed him. There's a fish. Spinners are so effective. I know if I was using these for the whole session, probably have like 40 fish. Oh, that's actually probably the best fish of the session. Look at that. Wow. Hello. Gorgeous fish. Let's get him unhooked. Hi right, guys. Here he is. Oh. Just unhooked himself or released himself. I was trying to get a video on my phone of the release. But he released himself, so 
Good stuff, let's keep going. And over there in front of the fire bank. No. Bring the spinner back down to us. There's a fish. Yeah, it's a nice trout. Giving us a good scrap. There he is, right the hand. Wow. Look at that. Beauty. Just goes to show how effective these lures are. The little spinners when you're fishing in the right area. I knew when I put this on I was going to get fish after fish, but I just like to show people other lures and working. Change up the videos a small bit as well, like so. We've a small bit left, just probably about 50 meters and see if we can get one more. There's a fish, yeah. These little spinners are just so good. Working them upstream. We'll catch whatever fish is there. Get one hook quickly. There we go. Lovely little wild brownie. See you dude. Off he goes. There's a fish. Oh, <laughs> he threw the hooks. That was actually a nice fish. Yeah, there's a trout. Oh, he came off. Yeah, there's another one. Little baby. Let's get him unhooked and back in. This guy's like a little worm. Off he goes. Yeah, there's a the trout. Nice fish. There he is. Look at that guy. Slipping straight back. Another one. Right the hand. There's a few room in that little pool. Oh wait, was he hooked at all? See you later buddy. Off he goes. There's a few of them sitting in that little area. Lovely trout. Look at that guy. Wow. Oh, he's perfect. He's never seen a hook in his life. Get the hook out of his mouth. Wow. Off he goes. Oh. <laughs> Grabbed it just in front of me. I wasn't even moving it. Right, the hand is up. Oh, there he goes. Another run for the spinner. I, I'm actually losing count to the fish now. Yeah, another trout. He's only a small fish. I'll get him in the hook. Oh, he's a tiny little trout. Corner them out. Up he goes. Good stuff. Okay, I'm just finished my session there, lads. Um, I walked way further than I thought I did. Ended up down beside a load of cows. <laughs> Typical Ireland. Um, so I started off the video by trying to change the lure after every fish. Um, 
but the conditions weren't the best for that sort of thing um, I thought it would be a bit more water in the river we ended up catching like eight or nine on different lures and then I just stuck with the spinners for a finish and absolutely hammered them um, but yeah that's my river fishing done for a while now I've absolutely exhausted every bit of the river and um, be back out on the lake from now on um, but yeah it was good fun for the month I did it for about a month straight um, hope you enjoyed this video lads if you did uh, drop a comment if you can like the video it really helps out to boost the channel and um, subscribe if you're new obviously uh, the channel's growing like mad so it's really good fun to keep the videos going and um, coming into the end of summer now or well actually the middle of summer but um when things start to cool off into autumn loads of pike fishing on the way but um yeah i'll finish the rest of the summer with a bit of trout trolling um, and maybe a bit of sea fishing so thank you so much for watching lads and i'll catch you out here next time